So in today's video, we will talk about how to mitigate DOS attacks using a remote trigger black holing technique that utilizes BGP communities. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible uh, by not covering all the possible scenarios, but the setup basically here is you got four VOS routers connected with all these IP addresses and I'm advertising these slash 32 host routes that are configured on the loop pack for this router. And these routers, uh, these addresses are learned here at this router as slash 24 because I am advertising a CIDR. <clears throat> Therefore, when the traffic hits or tries to reach any of these two addresses, it's permitted until the attacker starts attacking, let's just say, uh, this address, in this case, 100.111. We need a technique to block just this guy. And that's what we're gonna demonstrate. You can probably block the entire block by using the BGP community called no export, but that's not what I'm gonna demonstrate, but you can uh, do that, saying no export to the ISP and ISP will stop advertising the entire block. But here we're, we're trying to demonstrate blocking just one uh, host, that blocking one host traffic that is getting bad traffic from the internet. And so the traffic would, before the attack, is basically coming in like this. And then when the attack happens, the traffic, if without black remote trigger black holing, the traffic would get dropped here because you would put a black hole route on this router. But you want to block the traffic at your ISP. So you're going to remote trigger so that the, the traffic gets dropped right here instead of coming to you in the first place. So how do we do that? <clears throat> we use this technique with BGP communities and you have to work with your ISP to set this up with policies and all that. But the customer basically what he does, he tags the routes that he's advertising and, and trying to protect. Uh, with community 3333, just, just an example here, it's going to have to be the community that your ISP accepts. And then the, those communities are set by you for those attack routes and advertised through BGP to the ISP. And the ISP, when he receives that, he gets a match and he black sold it here instead of traffic getting black hole. If you're not working with your ISP and you're getting attacked, you can always black hole the traffic here. But in this case, you're trying to go, you know, as uh, closest to the attacker as possible. And I, like I said, you can do that by uh, sending a export community, BGP community, no export, that will block the export of that entire CIDR block. So I'm not demonstrating the export community here. I'm just demonstrating how to just block one host address that is getting attacked. So, <clears throat> so once that community is received by the ISP, acceptable by him, he uh, would set the black hole route setting the next hop to 92021. This is a reserved address. And then the traffic gets dropped right here instead of coming to you, okay? So let's kind of see that uh, in action and also uh, how the config would look like for this ISP and for the customer router for the policies. It's a little complicated as programming basically uh, through BGP. That's why BGP is so popular on the internet because it lets you do all this if and uh, if match do this, if not match do this and stuff like that. So here's my here's my attacker router, and uh, he's going to be reaching 100.111. It's getting black hole right now. Let me delete that. So uh, let's uh, do delete my black hole route and do a commit. 
and now I'm permitting all the traffic so I should be able to reach 100111 look at this address pay attention to this address it's reaching 23003 which is all the way to your ISP your your edge customer ISP edge this router right here if you can see that in the uh, you know background but and so it's also reaching the other host router as well both of them are coming to your edge router customer edge router now if I black hole this particular route that is getting attacked right let's just attack it so it's getting attacked I'm going to black hole it there you go it's black holed but you're not black holing the dot two so that should still work there you go so where is it getting black hole it is it coming all the way to you no I'm, I'm using the bgp community to make sure that your isp drops it before it comes to you so this is how 102 is still coming in all the way to 23003 but 101 is getting black hole right here at 2 12002 right here so 12002 is right here and 23003 is right here so that's how this black holing works uh it's a great technique it does not permit the traffic so it is <clears throat> protecting your infrastructure from harmful traffic coming in let's look at the configuration quickly it is for the service provide customer router it's going to look like this so you're setting up a policy that is sending your you're protecting this is the traffic that you're protecting through a prefix list you're setting a route map sending out a set com set community basically so it matches up the prefix list this is the prefix list and then it says if it matches up then set this community and for the rest it's permitting and this is the rest is bgp straightforward bgp con uh, configuration except that you're saying that when it's attacked you set the black hole route to black hole it using the keyword black hole right here so this is the customer edge router sending the, the community through route map to the service provider now let's look at the service provider uh, configuration and that is right here so if you look at the configuration of service provider, he's accepting the community from the, uh, from the customer. And then the customer is AS3, he's saying permit that. And if you get that community match, then set the next hop to 92.0.2.1, basically. And, and for the others, just permit. And then you have a static route that is going to black hole that traffic and that's just a straightforward black hole route right here I'm gonna put this guy a little down here so that it's visible There it is. You basically configure the static route 92021 black hole, and then you have the route map for this saying the route map is setting the community and the IP next hop to this guy. So your routing table is going to look like this. If I can fix this window. Show IP route. You have a static route for 
for black holing, right? You're still receiving the slash 24 on your ISP router, right? And if you do show IP route, show IP BGP and see what uh, neighbor, your neighbor is 23 uh, receive routes. Inbound every configuration is not enabled. So IPBGP 100. See this? You should be able to see that the route that the customer router is sending, this guy is sending with a tag of 33 is received and you can see that community getting uh, tagged, that route getting tagged. This route right here, show IP route 100, because that's the one we are tagging. So you, on the service provider router, you should be able to see this. And that's how these configuration looks. Uh, policies and protocols. And this is how it looks like in an action. One more time. It's getting triggered, it's getting blocked. If you wanna enable it, all you gotta do at customer site is delete the black holing route. And guess what? It's back on. Hope this helps.